Alexander VI, also known as Rodrigo Bourguet, was Pope from 1492 until his death in 1503. He was a highly intelligent man who enjoyed luxury and excess in all aspects of life. He did everything from selling church offices to hiring 50 prostitutes in one night to secure his place as the dirtiest pope in history. Pope Alexander VI's scandalous indiscretions during the Renaissance have made him a notorious figure in the history of the church to this day. Was a patron of the arts, a political manipulator, and a sexually active Spaniard. However, their sexual activities were not so frowned upon and were normal for the ecclesiastics of that time, the 15th and 16th centuries. Although Pope Bourguet's propensity for nepotism and hedonism is the stuff of legend, he used his positions to benefit himself and his family and helped create the mythical greatness of the Bourguet family. The Scandalous Reign of Pope Alexander VI Known as Pope Bourguet, his papal rule was tainted with criminal exploits and unclarified episodes, carried out to benefit the Bourguet family. So did his uncle before him, Rodrigo Bourguet, age 61, successfully bribed most of the cardinals after the death of Pope Innocent VIII. And so he was crowned Pope Alexander VI. Once in office, he used his influence to grow the Bourguet family's power and wealth, and his own. Thus, Alexander VI appointed ten of his relatives to positions in the College of Cardinals, including his son Cesare. Among his tricks, Pope Alexander VI prepared his closest allies with fiefs in the Papal States, and thus practiced simony, the sin of selling ecclesiastical offices. Meanwhile, he enjoyed a life of luxury, with ceremonies unbecoming of a church leader. Among others, he declared the year 150 as the Holy Year of Jubilee and organized an ostentatious celebration. On October 30, 1501, Bourdieu prepared with his son and part of his inner circle the chestnut banquet at the Apostolic Palace. This all-night event included the services of 50 prostitutes. Alexander VI eliminated his greatest critic. The Dominican friar Girolamo Sebenero Hule criticized the excess and corruption of the papacy in the early 1490s. He was a preacher who was outspoken against nude works of art, celebrations, and the lax morals of the clergy. In 1497, organized a bonfire where he burned letters, books, and other items he considered sinful. At 1498, Alexander VI stopped tolerating Sebenarul and had him arrested. Sebenarul and two of his fellow friars were thrown into a dungeon in Florence. Finally, they were tortured and condemned for heresy. The Judgment of Posterity Alexander VI was highly criticized already during his lifetime. Machiavelli wrote of him that he never did anything but deceive his fellow man, which often worked out well for him. He also had occasion to meet Caesar, which inspired him to write his work, The Prince. The bourgeois accurately reflected their conviction that the exercise of power, when effective, often did not respond to ethical criteria, but practical. He was by no means the only pope to employ unethical methods to achieve his goals but he was one of those who did so with the least modesty, and above all, against the interests of the papal state. Rodrigo Bourguet died in August 1503 after a banquet at which all the guests fell ill, something that has always aroused suspicions. It has even been said that he was part of a plot by Bourguet himself to assassinate his enemies, and that he himself was poisoned by mistake.